Hi, it's Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. I want to show you a quick tip on how to change windows and doors quickly to become existing and uh, no label and not included in your schedule. As quick and simple, watch this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven doors and windows quickly changed. Let's get started. So the quick tip and trick is this. I've taken a window and a door. Uh, I'm going to open this window and I'm going to set label as suppress label and schedule as not included in the schedule. And then I'm going to do the same with a door. Label, suppress label, schedule, uncheck, include in schedule. Now I'm going to take with that door or window selected, or I can select both, which is what I'll do here, uh, so that windows and doors can be uh, changed at the same time. Down in the, my edit toolbar, there's this uh, what looks like an artist's palette, painting palette, with a plus sign on it. And that is Add Object to Style Palette. Now I've done this already and put it in my, uh, put it in my uh, library as existing windows and doors, no label. When you add that to your style palette, you can right click on the, um, uh, on the object, on the style, and I'm, I've searched for no label. I've, you'll see in a second, I've got quite a few here. Um, search for no label. So I'm going to show this existing windows and doors, no labels in the browser so that I can actually select that and open object here. Now I've added an interior door, an exterior door, and a window to this palette specification. And you'll notice I can I cannot add any other windows or doors in that other than those when already added interior exterior and window so with the two that um, I selected what that's going to do is it's not going to include this exterior door so I'll delete it for the sake of this and uh, show you that's what you would have had if you'd selected an, a uh, window and an interior door as I had already, as I selected earlier. So I'm just going to add object, and now I can add an exterior door. The when I add this, I'm going to set these uh, properties the way I want it to be when I when I uh, paste, so to speak, this style onto a window or door. So I'm going to go to level level, uh, go to label, suppress the label. Go to Schedule and uncheck Include. Now this is specifically the exterior door specification only for this style palette specification. In each of these, then I can set the properties that I'm going to um, spray, if you will, or, or apply to future windows and doors. And I'm going to use this Set Properties tool. In this case, I'm going to clear all and that way I have a, a blank uh, slate. I'm going to, uh, let's see, include in schedule. And the value that's going to be painted or applied to future exterior doors is false. Include in schedule, it's going to turn, be turned false. Uh, label, I'm going to search up here, label. Suppress label right up here. And when I scroll to the top, the found properties that I search for label is right here. Suppress label, that value that will be applied in the future is true. I've done the same for my exterior door. Oh, that was the interior door. Here's the ex Yeah, there's the exterior door that I, I just added. So I'm going to clear all and I'm going to type schedule. SCHED, include in schedule is false, label, 
suppress label is true. Let's just make sure that I have those include in schedule is checked as false and suppress label is checked as true. Click OK. Set properties for my interior door. Same include schedule is false. Suppress label is true. Now, when I select this, uh, don't mind that. When I select this windows and doors no label, I'm going to use, I could use object mode and spray paint or apply that to one window or door at a time. I could do the whole room and say I wanted all of these in this room to be uh, no label and not included in the schedule because they are existing windows and doors. So I click in the middle of this room and there all the windows and doors in this room have no label. I can't do that here because some of these doors and windows are new and I want them to be included in their schedules. I could do the whole floor and again, I can't do that because I've got new windows and doors and that I want to be included. I could do it in the whole plan and that's not gonna work either. So I can also do this fencing tool. So anything that I draw a fence around that's in that uh, range, currently my scope is set to crossing. So I'm just gonna do like so, drag a box and anything, any window or door will be applied no label no, and not included in the schedule. I should also note that specifically interior doors, sliding doors, shower doors, pocket doors, garage doors, fixed doors, bifold doors, and barn doors are specifically, um, how do I put this? Because, because when I open the object, it's a different uh, door type uh, even though it's an interior door, it's not all of these door types would have to have their own uh, style palette. So even though it's a barn door, then I go back to my suppress label and uncheck include in schedule. I set my properties, suppress include in schedule is false, apply that one, and suppress label is true, apply that one. So in order to do that, I have to have each of these door types um, specifically saved as a style uh, to apply that. So it would apply to this double door here because that's a uh, not a bifold, um, but it would not apply if I had a barn door situation going on using using this original existing windows and doors no label because that's a hinge door an interior hinge door and an exterior hinge door. Same with garage doors, shower doors, etc. So you have to create those um, as as your own, uh, as a separate uh, style palette. Hope that helps. Hey, I hope this has been a helpful tip for you. Enjoy your week. I'll catch you soon.